Hey folks, my name is Nicholas. I've got Stephanie beside me from Orion's Built Miniatures. New player, new miniatures. We get to show them off. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Stephanie, welcome to the studio today. You flew all the way from LA. LA, which yes. is actually pretty far to us in Vancouver, BC. I'm glad you're here. I'm really excited to show off your miniatures. But before we get too much into Votan, Space Wolves, some amazing, beautifully painted miniatures that you do yourself, let's hear from you. Who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> like, like, what, what brings you to 40K as a hobby or miniature painting as a hobby? Where to even start, Nick? I don't <laughs> Where know. Where to even start? Okay, so this is kind of developed from a basic hobby that I would do maybe for an hour a week to a full-on addiction to where I am painting every single day despite having a family. I have a five-year-old and seven-month-old twins and I will still make time in my day to paint my little toy soldiers. <laughs> I love that. Yes. I saw the little video you posted about you watching our games, holding your yes. kids. I was like, yes. I love that so much. Because I did that with my kids. <laughs> yes, and you know what? My my older son, he is obviously not the younger one. He's a baby, but my older son, he is always like, are we gonna watch Warhammer today? Are we gonna watch Warhammer today? And he has his own little like plastic army guys that I got off Amazon. <laughs> that he'll like What's his name? put on his name is Luke. Luke? Yeah. Hi Luke, how you doing? <laughs> oh, he's look, really look who's on camera, look who's here. Hi baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's kind of just become a huge thing in our entire family that now we just do Warhammer. So we paint, we play, and we do the whole thing. I love that. Yep. I'm still trying to convince my family to do more of that with me. Right now it's just me and my garage, but I'm hoping that they <laughs> will join me. I've got it's all these contagious. miniatures set aside for them, ready for them when they are like, oh daddy, can I paint with you? Yes, oh, you can. How old are they? Uh, my oldest is seven. Okay, so okay. So they're almost at the age where it's like, it, it, it's a prime hobby time. Yeah, that'll We're be good. There. That'll be We're good. Um, but let's talk about yourself. Mm. These are beautiful. <laughs> Thank um, you. And these are are these two armies you play? So yes. So I primarily play Votan, not well, but I play them. And then Space Wolves, I had started playing a couple years ago, completely stopped. And then when I met you at Adepticon, you were like, "You have Space Wolves." I was like, "Yes." So I actually haven't really played a game with them, let alone a game of 10th edition with them. So. Now, we, we, we said, when we invited you, you said, okay, come bring from Common Control, which is about 500 points, small, small size game yeah. uh, of these two armies, bring your Space Wolves, because they they, we saw the pictures, they were beautiful. <laughs> and then we saw your video that you posted, your journey to play on, which is cool. Um, and you said, I don't like these, I'm gonna redo them from scratch? Yeah. How I have, long did that take you? A month. It took me a month to paint those. That's incredible. But I got distracted with lizard men. So it would have taken just too. a couple weeks. I, when I saw that box set, I was a little jealous. Because <laughs> yes. I want that box oh, set. Oh, it's beautiful. But I, I want to play Seraphon. I know, I know. Cool. Me too. Yeah. I know. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> okay, we're going, we're going to talk about this. <laughs> Tell me about this basing. This basing super cool. So, yes, I saw a tutorial on YouTube. I do not remember the creator. It is linked in my video in which I made those. But what he did was he took slate chips and he used glue stuff to make molds. Yeah. He poured UV resin in and I was like, oh wait, this is within my skill set. Like I can do this. I These look it. really cool. I so I did that and then just dry brushed them white, added some other things around, some snow effects. Super cool. And that's what we have. That's super cool. I love it. It looks so <laughs> cool. And we got the Votan and this is a bit bigger of course. It looks like you have a bit more here. This yes. is bigger than the Combat Patrol game we're going to play, but oh, that looks great. Yeah, Tell this me about is... this. Tell me your process here. What, what, what did you want to go for? So this army is a big deal to me because when I was pregnant with my twins, I was totally convinced that my hobby days were over the second they were born. I was never gonna pick up a paintbrush again. Like it was just yeah. gonna be really, really rough. After they were born, I took an hour a night to paint and this was the result. So this is one of every painted unit that is out right now. Oh, cool. Yeah, so every like every unit, except for the new kill team, I haven't done those yet. Yeah, so that's just it. This is just an ongoing project that's taken me six months to paint every single thing that is out. It's not the best list, I will tell you, because it's just not comprehensive yeah. whatsoever, but here they are. I'm proud that looks of them. awesome. Yeah. They, they do look really cool. You've <laughs> done an you. amazing paint job. I especially love the cloak on this guy here. The, um, this is like the psychic guy. Yeah, the Grimnir. The Grimnir, mm -hmm. right, his cloak. Like you put like reflective cloak. It's, that's non-metallic metal, isn't it? Yeah. You did a fantastic job of it. Thank I have not you. tried to do non-metallic metal. <gasps> not even tried it. It's too intimidating. Nick, we have me. to get you going. And, you and need to set up some kind of like. So, to be clear for those watching for the first time, you don't know what non-metallic metal or NMM is. 
explain. So non-metallic metal is, so you have metallic paint, which is just has the shiny pigment in it so that when you put it on, boom, it's, it's metal shiny. and that's it. Looks it. Like metal. Yeah. You throw Easy. a wash on it, you're done. I can do that. <laughs> but that doesn't photograph very well, usually. At least not for me. So what I do when I know I'm going to be photographing my miniatures, I do non-metallic metal, which just means, and this is a, probably a better example, um, my call here. His armor is not actually gold. It's shades of brown, yellow, and white in such a way that make it look like gold. It really does. Not it's a if really you look gold. this closely, but from about here, it looks it just looks like gold. Really good. And you know what? What you've done with this non-metallic metal, sometimes people go a bit heavy with it, and it only looks good from a certain angle. But to be yeah. honest, the way you've done it, Kind of, kind of works from most angles. So I try to keep in mind when I'm painting that I don't just want to photograph it and keep it on the shelf. I play all of the models that I paint. So I, I try that. to give multiple reflection points. So I do one side to the other side and then I do the top. So you can see there's a reflection right on the top. So when I'm looking down at that's it, really cool. then it looks okay. Yeah, yeah. that's really, really <laughs> cool. Um, any conversions you want to tell us about? So not on my Votan. Votan are just straight out of the box. Uh, a couple head swaps here and there, but overall they're just as is. Uh, more conversions on my Space Wolves. Is there any any specific miniature you want to point out? Anything anything here that you want to like really point out to us? That, like you want you're really proud of? You know what? I feel like the first mini I painted for this army, which was my Sagittar, is the one that I'm most proud of because it's the one that took me the longest by far. <laughs> And thank you. And it was just the first thing. I had gone back and forth so many times for different color schemes. And these are the Greater Thurian League. So they're supposed to be blue and white. I changed it to make them blue and purple because I yeah. love purple. But I lost sleep over thinking about what shade of purple. How is this going to look with that? And then when I painted this, I was like, this is it. This We're going to roll through the rest of the army in this scheme. It felt so good to finish it. This was the first finished model I had painted after having my babies, like yeah. I said. It just felt so good, and I had my flow back. I was like, let's okay. go. I actually want to hear about that a little yeah. bit. Okay, so how like, how did you find your flow? How did you find time having mm -hmm. kids and then trying to find time to do this? Because I have three kids, <laughs> and I know how much little time you have after kids. Yes, um, and energy and for, energy. That, for yes. that matter. Yeah. yeah. Um, so having an insanely supportive partner helps so much because you just have to have, like he knows that I'm a better parent when I have that one hour a day or whatever it is yeah. to get my own thing done. Yeah, I feel like I can be more present with my kids and with my family when I know that at the end of the day, I'm gonna be able to wind down and do my own thing. It like recharges me. That's a really know? smart tactic. Yeah, yeah so I, yeah. regardless of what's going on, he makes sure that I do have that one hour. And now that the babies are older and they're napping, I'm like, let's go. The second they're down, Hold I'm on like to that running. Nap phase as so long the hobby, as possible. Yes, yes. Yeah, when that nap phase ended, I was like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's how it's done. And I found that you have to find whatever it is that you enjoy about the hobby help it to recharge you. If it's something stressful, it's not gonna be something you wanna to come to at the end of a long day. So I had to find the perfect army that I was gonna enjoy continuing to come back to, to where it didn't feel like a job. Because the second yeah. it feels like a job rather than a hobby, you're okay. not gonna do it after your long, hard yeah. day. So it just took a very special army, which was yeah. the Votan. But you have turned into a little bit of a job, a little bit, Orion Belt Miniatures. We're in the process. So tell me about Orion's Belt Miniatures and what that is. Yeah, so I started my YouTube channel about three years ago, taking some breaks here and there, but about three years ago, I was like looking for the specific box and I just wanted to see what came in it. And I was like, wait, this doesn't exist on the internet. I'll make that. So I just filmed myself unboxing this random thing and I posted it. And I got so many nice comments from people oh, saying, awesome. oh wow, I've been wanting to see an unboxing of this. Oh wow, I love how you did that. Oh, and I was like, this is nice. Like it's, people it's are nice. Fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was it was like a rush and I like probably got like 100 views on it or something like that. But That's it cool. was amazing and I was like I want to do this more and I found myself when I was painting the next few weeks thinking how would I explain this? How would I make it so that this is something that anybody could do? How would I do that? And then I filmed a tutorial and it was for uh, the Starblood Stalkers Warband mm. Lizardmen again. And I posted it, and then from there, it just kind of snowballed into what it is now. Well, I, I hope you luck with that more. Okay, talk about playing just for a second yeah. here. Um, I, I'm curious to know, because I'm about to play a game against you here, and mm -hmm. I've never played a game against you here. <laughs> oh, would you describe yourself as, uh, would you describe yourself, first of all, as a competitive player or a more casual player? <laughs> 
Definitely casual. Yeah. Definitely in the dining room on our table, what? like right. in the morning, Saturday morning. That's okay. what we do. Okay, so I have a chance. Is what you're saying? Okay, you're gonna right. beat me, Nick. I'm very confident. Sure, sure. <laughs> she says. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and then next, I want to know: Are you an aggressive player? A defensive player? Oh no. Okay. Um, do, you, do you like to just like make those crazy high risk, high reward plays? Or are you more like a safety and like sit back and wait for your opponent? To I am in? very much. Let's just do it and see what happens. Yes. And it never goes well for it me. It doesn't. Until the one time it does. Right. And then it's worth it all, all the way right. worth it. And you just keep going <laughs> uh, because you want that one high of the high risk, yes. high reward. Because when it happens, it's amazing. Exactly. And it's worth it. So, yeah. like, the fun is just oh, awesome. playing. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> We're so excited. Too. We're going to play My Tao versus Herbotan in a Compact Patrol 10th edition game. Yes. I'm incredibly excited to play it. Yeah. Um, we haven't got to play a lot of 10th yet, but I'm. I'm, I just want to roll dice. I'm I know, so excited I know. for 10th edition. We keep saying we're so excited, we're so excited, we're so excited, and we're both hopping around all over the yeah. studio. <laughs> like, it's just like everything is cool. I'm just yeah. Like, hey, what it feels like a, a refresh of the game, a brand new fresh of the game, is like, it's like the Wild West. Nobody knows what works exactly. at this point. So we're all like just throwing anything at the wall, seeing what sticks, and it's just kind of fun and exciting. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be fun. Yeah. I can't wait. Um, thank you so much for Stephanie for coming to the studio. Yeah. Thank you for showing up your army. And if you want to see more, make sure to go to her YouTube channel, uh, Orion's Belt Miniatures. Yes. Uh, do you eat Instagram or, or? I do. Yeah. I do. Same same handle, Orion's Belt Minis. There you go. Mm -hmm. So check her out. You can see more of her stuff. Uh, and check out the game when it comes out very soon. And uh, if it hasn't already, and until we see you next time, play, play on. on. Yeah. High five. Cool. Oh. Oh.